In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to highlight some of the changes in the interface for 365 subscribers only who upgrade in July 2020. Some items have changed, some have moved, and some work differently. First of all, you notice a big difference in the menu bar at the top. The plugins icon is gone, the drop down box is gone, and the three blue icons work differently. We're going to show you just a bit about that. First of all, you see the clean image in the new one. You still have the little blue icon on the left side, the triangle, where you can see more details of that panel. But other things have changed. Let's see what we can discover. First of all, you notice the background images drop down is gone. There were a few, they just threw it away. The next thing is the projects now have their own icon on the left side, second one from the top. The other thing you'll notice is that the plugins menu had that icon and it also referenced the plugins word at the top. They just took the icon out because the functionality is the same. They figured why duplicate it? Now you click on the word. The next thing you'll notice is that the icons for selecting what's in the window have changed. The double icon shows you everything. The video icon only video. The still image only still images. And the music only music. So now it's much easier to get just what you want. You'll also notice in the menu above the timeline it had designer, pip designer, mask designer, view designer, etc and now they've decided to consolidate that to PIP Designer under Tools, also Mask Designer. You also have another Action Camera Center in that same larger menu, as well as the Content Aware Editing option. So those are all there in that same larger menu. They've decided to make it simpler rather than more complex. You also had the Power Tools with a subset, but now each of those is again in a larger menu together so you're fewer clicks away from getting the things that you want to use when you want to use these tools in CyberLink PowerDirector. Another thing you'll notice in the new interface is that when you mute a clip it looks different. Now here's the old look and here's the new look. The new look is it's much more grayed out or faint in color and that shows you that that particular clip happens to be muted. Another feature on the interface is when you want to move or resize a clip on the timeline, just hold the Alt key down and it will not stick to the edge of an image or icon. So sometimes if you want more precise movement, just hold the Alt key down and it will recognize that at all.